In this video, we are going to find the Fourier transform of u of t. Now we know that u of t is given as 1 plus sigma of t divided by 2. So now to find the Fourier transform of u of t, we need to find the Fourier transform of this thing. I can write this as the u of t is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 sigma of t. So the Fourier transform of u of t will be equal to Fourier transform of 1 by 2 plus Fourier transform 1 by 2 sigma of t. Now we know that the Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi delta of omega where delta is the impulse function. So here we have the Fourier transform of 1 by 2 so that will be equal to pi delta of omega. In place of this Fourier transform, I can write pi delta of omega. And then we have the Fourier transform of 1 by 2 sigma of t. I am going to take out the constant out and then we are going to find the Fourier transform of sigma of t. And now we know the Fourier transform of the sigma of t. Fine. So this is your pi delta of omega plus 1 by 2. Then we have the Fourier transform of sigma of t. Now the Fourier transform of sigma of t, we have already found out the Fourier transform of sigma of t. That was equal to 2 divided by j omega. So in place of the Fourier transform of sigma of t, I have 2 divided by j omega. So this 2 is going to cancel out with this 2 and as a result I am going to have pi delta of omega plus 1 divided by j omega. The Fourier transform of the step function u of t is given by pi delta of omega plus 1 divided by j omega. Thank you.